What is your security nightmare? When a Trojan horse gets into the system. Using the open network at this conference. The user that clicks on everything. My parents ask me, I just went to a website that said put in your credit card number and tell me if it's been stolen, and I did. Hiring the wrong people. Edward Snowden. Just him alone? He comes, he shows up to your house, gonna crash on your couch? Right, no, any, any version of an insider threat like that. Losing my own data. My intellectual property is gone. A security breach without backups and no way to restore the system. Do you have a security nightmare? Like you wake up on a cold sweat and go, oh my God, did this just happen? Doesn't that happen every two hours? You sleep just like a baby, you wake up every two hours when you're a security professional? That's how things feel sometimes. A network-wide attack, uh, infecting all the machines on our network, breaking everything. Finding out that I've had some sort of an APT, an advanced persistent threat, on my server and on my machine for I don't know how long. Just monitoring my keystrokes, stealing my information, that's what gives me nightmares. That I get called in the middle of the night because someone's found some confidential information of ours somewhere on the internet. Getting a phone call in the middle of the night from one of the guys back at the office saying that there's been a fire in the server cabinet and um, <laughs> there's no internet connectivity, the phones are down. Improperly configured IDS and IPS software, hardware, uh, firewalls with open ACLs. I mean, I, it's a long list, that's why I don't, I mean, we only got like an hour, so. Do you have a security nightmare? Uh, not offhand, no. <laughs> Everything's a rosy day for you? Every day is a nightmare, so. <laughs> the data being compromised is my biggest concern. So is there like a, do you have a whole nightmare scenario, like the worst case of that? <laughs> yeah, that I end up on CNN News. <laughs>